Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome back to the Wix Wiz. Over the past few weeks, I've been seeing a lot of comments mentioning that, oh no, it's not working on mobile. I copied your code one for one and it's working on desktop, but it's not working on mobile. So today I wanna give you my number one tip and tool for debugging on mobile and specifically highlight one issue which I think is most likely causing that problem of it's not working on mobile even though it was working perfectly on desktop. So if you want to learn all about that and more, let's get started. Okay, so for the purposes of this demonstration, I have a very simple setup and it constitutes of a text box here and a regular box that's in blue and this hide button. And each of these uh, has a name. So this title here is named title and the box is named conveniently box and the hide button is conveniently named hide button. And if we take a look at the code over here, so the first thing that you'll notice if you haven't noticed yet is that this title is hidden by default. Okay, so the title is hidden by default. And basically what we're doing over here inside of the code is that first we're assigning the text a value of this is the title, and then we're gonna show it. So it'll only show after the value is assigned. And I've also attached an event listener to the hide button so that it hides the big blue box when it's clicked. Okay, so let's take a look at what this application looks like inside of preview mode. So I'm gonna head into preview mode over here. And once it goes in, this is a good chance to go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. There we go. Okay, so we're here in preview mode and you can see that it's showing the title over here. And if I click this button over here, then it will hide my blue box. Okay, uh, but if I go back to the editor and I head into mobile and then I go into preview mode, so you'll notice here that my title isn't there. I'll give you a small hint. Uh, and if I go here into preview mode and I try to click my hide button, you'll notice that it's not working. Okay, and this is, again, what I'm about to show you is the cause for again, random statistic, 90% of the issues that you're encountering on mobile when it worked perfectly on desktop. And if I go back into the editor while still in mobile mode and open up the code, so you'll notice here that these two elements are underlined in red. And that is because on mobile, I have decided to hide the title. Okay, I decided, okay, this is something that I don't need on my mobile site. So I went ahead and I hit it. And that created a situation where inside of my code, I'm trying to use elements that aren't actually there. And this can cause an error. And then basically, after I try to show the title and it's not there, none of the code after that actually runs. Uh, and this creates a problem uh, because it can kill parts of your code, even if they're not related to what the to the element that you've hidden. Uh, just for example, let me show you one possible solution, which is to flip around these two, the order of these two. Okay, so if I put the hide button before the title and I head back here into preview mode, and now I try clicking the hide button, you'll notice that it did hide. And that's because the instructions in the code for the on click came before the code that couldn't be read by the compiler. Okay, so if your code that's trying to access elements that are not there is at the end, then it won't cause problems for the rest of your code, usually. Uh, this is one direction for a solution, but I really just did it in order to highlight, you know, how the code is being compiled and highlight the specific issue. I don't recommend this as a solution. What I do recommend is using Wix window. So if I go ahead here in my code and I import Wix window or Wix window front end, I have access to something called form factor. And then I can go over here in my code. So let me switch the order back around. And here in my code, what I can do now is I can add in a condition. So I'm going to add in if Wix window front end dot form factor equals to 
desktop, then run this code. So form factor basically is giving me access to what kind of device is actually using my website now. And I can conditionally run code based on what form factor it is. So if I tell my code, okay, only run this if we're in desktop, then on mobile, this these lines of code should be skipped, and then it won't cause any errors, and it, the rest of my code should operate normally. So let's go ahead back into preview mode and see what this would look like. So now I'm going to go ahead and click the hide button, and you'll notice that it did hide the blue box, even though the order of the code is still as it was before. So this is, again, what in most cases will cause issues on mobile if everything was working smoothly on desktop. So what I recommend that you do, you do if something isn't working on mobile is to head into the editor, go into the mobile editing view, and see if you have any red lines like these. If you do, then that might indicate what your issue is. Otherwise, you will have to connect to a mobile device while debugging through you know, your Chrome uh, dev tools, and it's a little bit of a hassle. So I do hope that this is your issue and that it solves it. Again, I can't say that that's the only issue that will be on mobile but not on desktop, but I think that many of the cases are likely that. Um, so please do check that out if you're having issues on your mobile site. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Uh, let me know below if this solves your problem uh, in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tips like this every week. And I'll see you next time.